All right, so that quiz maybe was ill-placed in that it was about what this is not about. What this is about is computational learning theory. And computational learning theory really gets us a, a formal way of addressing three really important questions. One is, what's a learning problem? Let's, let's define very carefully what it is that we want a learning algorithm to do. If we can do that, we can actually show that specific algorithms either work or don't work with regard to the definition of the problem. And maybe we can even come up with algorithms that solve those problems better. So that's kind of on the upper bound side. And then on the lower bound side, we can also show, for example, in some cases, that some problems are just fundamentally hard. So you, you define a particular learning problem, and you discover, wait, the algorithms that I'm thinking of don't seem to work. You might actually be able to show that no algorithms, say no algorithms in some particular class, are ever going to be able to solve them because that problem is not solvable by problems in that class. So those problems are fundamentally hard. So answering these kinds of questions require that you be fairly careful about defining things and using mathematical reasoning to, to determine what's going on. So we're going to focus mostly on that, talk about some algorithms that are not necessarily practical. You wouldn't necessarily want to use them, but they do help illuminate what the fundamental learning questions are and, and why certain algorithms are effective and ineffective. Okay, so Michael, can I ask you a question then? Sure, please. So it sounds to me like you've just justified this in the same way that a computing theoretician might try to justify theory. Uh, are they related? Right, that's a very good observation. In fact, the, the kinds of analyses and tools that are used for analyzing learning questions are also the same kinds of tools and mechanisms that are used in the context of uh, analyzing algorithms in computing. So uh, yeah, that's exactly right. Okay, great. In fact, let's, uh, let's, let's leverage that analogy and we'll do it in the context of a quiz.